Very good evening and welcome to the 7 o'clock news from Bahrain International. I'm Sarab al -Fat. His Royal Highness Prime Minister Prince Khalifa bin Salman Al Khalifa received today at the Gdaibiya Palace a number of senior officials, intellectuals, media personnel, businessmen and citizens in the framework of His Royal Highness's keenness to have the channels of communication open with the people. His Royal Highness affirmed that the bond between the kingdom's rulers and its people is a source of pride, asserting utmost support to the directives of His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa that aim at the elevation of the country and its people and bettering the quality of government services. His Royal Highness reiterated the government's determination to achieve all that promotes the citizens' living standards as they are the producers of the country's development. During the meeting, His Royal Highness the Premier expressed pride in the achievements made by the people and their positive response to human development programs launched by the government. He added that the Kingdom is taking accelerated steps in its sustainable development march, overcoming all challenges that would disrupt this process. In regards to foreign affairs, His Royal Highness the Prime Minister praised the Kingdom of Saudi Arabia and its efforts in supporting Arab and Islamic issues under the leadership of the custodian of the two holy mosques, King Salman bin Abdulaziz Al Saud, and with the support of the Saudi Crown Prince, Deputy Premier and Minister of Defense, His Royal Highness Prince Mohammed bin Salman bin Abdulaziz Al Saud. His Royal Highness the Prime Minister highlighted the Saudi Crown Prince's successful visit to the United States, citing it as a success to the region's countries.
الوطن يعني خليفة الوطن يعني خليفة حامي الأرض وسندنا حامي الأرض وسندنا وساكن بالحب يمنا وما يهزنا أي شيء الوطن يعني خليفة يعني داري وهو دارك وحتى لو جار الزمن يداري جارك وما يخلي أي محنة تعتلي قلبك تطحنه كلنا ويا خليفة كلنا ويا خليفة وهو ربانا ويعزنا وهو ربان السفينة هو ربان السفينة دخل الغبة معانا وصل الساحل ساحل الخير وعطانا الله يحفظ أهل دارك الله يحفظ أهل دارك وإحنا وياك بقرارك إحنا وياك بقرارك كلنا ويا خليفة والوطن هو خليفة والخليفة هو أحلام كبرت وهو أمطار كثرت ازهرت في كل وقت وخضرت درب الوطن وهو لم وهو اللي لم شعبه بالمحبة لم شعبه وخلى قلبه باب للأمن وحفظنا كلنا ويا خليفة كلنا دون الألم كلنا ويا خليفة وهو حامي هالوطن تسلم طال عمرك يعني عمرك طويل الله يخليك الله يخليك واحنا معاك في كل خطوة بنفسنا بقلبنا بحياتنا كبار وصغار الوطن كل الوطن انت الله يسلم بو علي قمة عظيمة وبو علي نسل الأوايل بو علي صقر أصيل هيبته تضوي طباعة هامته فوق المعالي أصلها من نسل وايل شامله معنى الأصالة والمحبة والشجاعة الفرح اليوم بين في بلادي كالهمايل افرحوا كل القبايل والحبايب والرباعة هذه لطيور تتغنى وهذه لنخيل التمايل وهذه بحرين الحضارة عزها أنت شراعة يا خليفة المجد يا خليفة المجد نجم ما يطولها أي طايل كيف وانت النجم أصلا والبدر وانت شعاعة المحبة لك كبيرة يا كبير بالفعايل حكمتك خلت بلادي دانت تضوي الوساعة Israel Highness the Prime Minister Prince Khalifa bin Salman Al Khalifa received today at Qatabia Palace the Board of Directors of Bahrain Chamber of Commerce and Industry, the BCCI, headed by its chairman Samir Abdullah Nas, on the occasion of the formation of the new board. Israel Highness noted that the BCCI is a uniting framework for all the workers in the trade and industry sector and praised its role in the commercial march and its vital economic weight. The Prime Minister urged the new Board of Directors to cooperate in their work of the benefit of traders to maintain the historical status of the chamber and enhance the commercial march. The board of directors praised the support they received from the government led by His Royal Highness the Prime Minister and invited His Royal Highness to visit the chamber. They also submitted a petition to His Royal Highness to postpone imposing fees on practicing business activities. His Royal Highness affirmed his keenness to support the commercial sector and appointed the Minister of Commerce, Industry and Tourism to consult with the chamber to decide the appropriate business activities fees. His Royal Highness congratulated the board members, wishing them success in serving the trade and industry sector. He also expressed keenness to communicate with the BCCI on all industrial and commercial affairs. The Prime Minister hailed the efforts of the private sector in achieving development goals and enhancing the competitiveness of the national economy. His Royal Highness added that the contributions of the private sector in development has achieved great success. His Royal Highness stressed that the government will continue to support the private sector and reinforce its participation in setting development plans and future economic policies. His Royal Highness noted that the current economic challenges have doubled the level of responsibilities in enhancing the competitiveness of the national economy in attracting investments and affirmed the government's keenness to support the BCCI. The board members expressed thanks and appreciation to His Royal Highness for his support to BCCI and praised his directives that reinforce partnership between the government and the chamber through consultation and cooperation and supporting the chamber's efforts to achieve the aspirations of the commercial sector.
The first deputy president of the Supreme Council for Youth and Sports, president of West Asian Athletics Association and president of Bahrain Athletics Association, His Honor Sheikh Khalid bin Hamad Al Khalifa, congratulated His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa, His Royal Highness the Prime Minister Prince Khalifa bin Salman Al Khalifa, His Royal Highness the Crown Prince, Deputy Supreme Commander and First Deputy Premier Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa, and the representative of His Majesty the King for Charity Work in Youth Affairs, president of the Supreme Council for Youth and Sports and chairman of Bahrain Olympic Committee, His Honor Sheikh Nasser. Bin Hamad Al Khalifa on the occasion of Bahrain's winning third place in the World Half Marathon Championship held in Valencia, Spain. His Highness affirmed that the achievement is a result of the continuous support of His Majesty the King for the sports and youth movement in the kingdom. His directives on the importance of responsible representation of Bahrain in international events and his keenness on following up on the national team's participation in various events. His Highness Sheikh Khalid expressed pride in the achievement and the staff status Bahrain acquired in the athletic sport. He hailed the participators' determination to make an honorable achievement for the kingdom and the role of technical, administrative and media teams in achieving this accomplishment. Under the patronage of the first deputy president of the Spring Council for Youth and Sports and president of Bahrain Athletics Association and honorary president of Bahrain Sports Federation for the Disabled, His Honor Sheikh Khalid bin Hamad Al Khalifa, the Arabian Gulf Award for Young Novelist, concluded yesterday, organized by Al Watan newspaper in partnership with the media office of His Honor Sheikh Khalid. His Highness hailed the Bahraini and Gulf capabilities, which proved that they have the cultural and literal abilities to take on this challenge that accumulated more than half a million words. The award achieved the desired goals of enhancing a novel writing in addition to encouraging the youth to participate in such important events. His Highness congratulated the contestants who were able to finish writing their novels and proved their abilities to come up with original ideas and creativity. He also praised the organizing committee of the event for creating the suitable atmosphere for the competition and expressed appreciation to the sponsors and contributors of the award and also express thanks to the efforts of the media for covering this significant event. The second edition of the Arabian Gulf Award for Young Novelists came to an end today after a challenging and thought-provoking 24 hours. 42 young writers had their skills put to the test and were faced with a one-of-a-kind experience. Because of this competition, uh, I started to believe that I can write. I can write a novel within one day or within, or I can even write a novel within two or three days without, without stopping. That the ideas will not be like, for, for example, we always think that I cannot think about the novel, I have to write the beginning and I, after one week maybe I'll think of something else. But uh, with this competition I know that I can do it within one day. It is fun because you're staying face to face with writing and with your characters and you're listening to them all the time so it is good it is scary it's a combination of all feelings that you can imagine it's a common saying that pressure produces diamonds and so the competition aims to push the young writers to produce great work in a limited amount of time completing this challenge will enhance their capabilities as novelists and give them the confidence they need in their future endeavors this competition gave me um the, the experience of the time limits. I, I've never wrote a novel in such time. So um, I think it made me, of course, stronger um, writer and better writer, as it gave me better qualities in managing my time and in writing in such time. Having His Highness um, supporting us and supporting um, our passion about writing and cultural, cultural um, uh, areas. So we're, we're so proud of having His Highness support. I would like to thank His Highness Sheikh Khalid um, that he did actually allow to, you, uh, to, the, to the young people uh, to have field or to have place to write and to, ex to, and, and to express themselves for, for the public. The cultural sector is an important field to His Highness Sheikh Khalid and the advancement of the youth is a key priority. Through this award, the young generation of novelists are given a platform for self-expression and a pathway to self-improvement. Reporting for Bahrain International, I'm Shog Mohammed. 
The Speaker of the Representatives Council, Ahmed Al Mullah, headed the parliamentary delegation at the coordination meeting of parliaments of the Arab Parliamentary Union, which was held on the sidelines of the meeting of the 138th Union Assembly of the International Parliament. Al Mullah affirmed his support to the Palestinian National Council and the Kuwaiti National Assembly to express their opposition to the recent decisions of the U.S. administration against the broadly Palestinian people by consolidating the emergency clause, affirming the inviolability inno of the history historic and legal status of the city of Jerusalem and ensuring the Palestinians' rights of Jerusalem as the an eternal capital of Palestine. Well, I'm sure that uh, Bahrain is going to present an important proposal as an emergency item relating uh, all these uh, unfortunate decisions around Jerusalem. And I'm sure that it's going to be a powerful message and hopefully supported by many countries. The Shura Council held its weekly meeting today presided over by its chairman Ali bin Salah al Salah, where it approved the recommendations of the service committee of allowing socially insured employees in the civil sector to add a default service period of up to five years as part of the draft law adding Article 36 to the social insurance law. Interior Minister Lieutenant General Sheikh Rashid bin Abdullah Al Khalifa announced today tough steps to deal with unprecedented chaos by disruptive social media accounts. He said such accounts spread malicious rumors that went against social harmony and civil peace, adding that security authorities would tackle any offense against national and traditional values. He said that some disruptive social media accounts claimed that they were run by the royal court while it had been proved they were operated through malicious websites and had no links with the royal court or any other official organization in Bahrain. He continued to state the royal court was an official authority that functioned to implement the directives of His Majesty the King in regard of supervising all constitutional organizations in the kingdom to ensure they followed constitutional provisions in the best interests of the nation and its citizens. Thus, it is above any cyber activity against the norms and traditions of Bahrain, whereas those accounts are destructive and not constructive. He added that those accounts were monitored since they relied on inaccurate information about individuals and organizations and were against the interests of the internal front. The interior minister said the operators of some of those accounts were identified and others would continue to be pursued. We won't be far from tracking them down and taking legal action against them even if we need to draft new legislation to tackle the latest developments in such crimes with their negative effects on members of the society and the national fabric. He also said there would be a follow-up and steps would be taken to make them accountable in accordance with the law to stop their violations and misuse of the social media. He said it was unfortunate that the social media had been turned into a place of spread to spread sedition and rumors rather than to strengthen community bonds. The interior minister asked citizens to ignore malicious social media accounts and their abuse of rumors and claims against Arab and Islamic traditions and stressed the need to obtain information from official sources. Following the directives of His Royal Highness the Prime Minister, Prince Khalifa bin Salman Al Khalifa, the Minister of Works, Municipalities, Affairs and Urban Planning, Engineer Assam Abdullah Khalaf, Housing Minister Basim bin Yagub Al Hamar, and Minister of Youth and Sports Affairs Hisham bin Mohammed Al Joder visited Al Naim area to identify with the needs of the residents. The meeting was held at the Naim Youth Center, in which the chairman of the center, Ghazi Abdul Mahsan, welcomed the ministers, hailing the efforts of the ministries in field of roads, sanitation, infrastructure, housing and youth affairs. The Minister of Works said that the field visits will be conducted by the officials concerned to meet the needs of a Naim residents and consider the possibility of implementing of implementation according to the available resources and in light of the priorities that are agreed upon with the Municipal Council of the area. The Housing Minister added that the visit comes in implementation of His Royal Highness's keenness to follow up with the needs of citizens in various areas of the Kingdom. He reiterated the ministry's keenness to provide housing needs for citizens. El Joder affirmed that the directors of the wise leadership stressed the importance of meeting the needs of citizens and providing them with a decent living, which includes youth and sports services in various governorates and villages in the country.
Under the patronage of the Minister of Labor and Social Development, Jamil bin Mohammed Ahmedan, the Pro Sky Business Incubator was opened at Beta Tajar, which is the first incubator specialized in media and management, supervised by the Bahrain Association for the Development of Small and Medium Enterprises. The incubator aims to provide a growth and success elements for new and emerging companies and achieve the dream of entrepreneurs in finding a suitable place at a simple price and help them transform innovative ideas into successful business ventures. It provides a number of workshops, training and educational programs in various fields of business and media. It also provides office space, a studio equipped with the best imaging and recording equipment and an event hall equipped with state-of-the-art technology. Under the patronage of His Royal Highness the Crown Prince, Deputy Supreme Commander and First Deputy Premier Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa, His Royal Highness the Crown Prince Golf Club Championship rounds concluded yesterday. The championship was held at Bahrain Golf Club in Hnainia with the participation of 107 players representing various golf clubs in the kingdom. The awards ceremony was held in the presence of the Chief of Staff and the Deputy President of Bahrain Golf Club, Diab bin Sagran Naimi, who delivered a speech in which he expressed thanks to His Royal Highness the Conference for their remarkable championship to the Club Affairs Directorate for participating in the awards ceremony and to the Board of Directors and Club members for their efforts in organizing the championship. He also congratulated the winners and wished the other participants luck in upcoming championships. A very good evening. You're watching the Business News in Bahrain International with me, Hiba Abdul Ghaffar. Bahrain All Share Index has closed at 1,334.96 points, marking an increase of 1.05 points above the previous closing. The increase was in the commercial banks and services sectors, and investors traded mainly in the industrial sector, representing 47.43% of the total value of traded shares. Results indicated that 43 equity transactions took place, with a volume of 2,252,666 shares, worth 585,114 Bahraini dinars.